What up guys, today we're still in Shizuoka Prefecture. We're only about three kilometers away from Shizuoka Station and um, we're here at Total Ruins, which is one of the most important historical sites here in Japan. The Total Ruins are actually so important that they are usually in Japanese textbooks. So that's why you see many uh, elementary and junior high school students around me. This place marks a village that used to exist around AD 100 to AD 300. So it's very, very old. In the conventional history of Japan, this period is classified as the latter half of the Yayoi period. The total ruins are one of the most important sites explaining the agricultural culture of this particular period. The large-scale ruins consist of dwelling areas, rice paddies, and forests, and are thought to have been buried by a river flood caused by a typhoon. So all of the buildings around me have actually been reconstructed and remade to show you guys what the Yayoi period villages actually look like. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit and show you guys what this village actually looks like. So dark. I know I can't see it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ancient skateboards right here. Miniature car right here made out of wood. Modern day buckets. An awesome stool like thing. A green haired girl named Moe. It looks like these doors are layers of bark. Really hard. It's pretty cool. So well, that was the total ruins for you guys. It's kind of an educational place if you guys want to learn a little bit about uh, Japanese history. So definitely worth it if you're into that educational side. It's not much of a touristy destination as you don't see many foreigners here. So after this, we're gonna go to Old Buchi Sasaba, which is a really really nice view. We're gonna see Mount Fuji in the background with tea fields in front of it. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Let's head over there. Let's go. Hey guys, so right now we are in Obuchi Sababababa. Hey guys, so we're still in Shizuoka Prefecture and uh, right now we are in Obuchi Sasaba, which is an area full of tea fields as you can see right here. And um, what's special about this place is that Mount Fuji is right behind me. So typically people see Mount Fuji from the Yamanashi side, um, but the Shizuoka side is pretty cool because you can get the tea fields plus Mount Fuji. So it's really kind of, it's a different feel to seeing Mount Fuji, which I actually really like. Um, we're waiting for the clouds to clear up to see Mount Fuji. And uh, we're gonna show you guys a beautiful view if possible. So stay tuned and hopefully Mount Fuji will clear up so I can show you guys a beautiful video. This guy's cane is a piece of wood using nature to its finest. Look at all these professional cameramen. Dang! All right guys, so that was basically the best view we could get at Mount Fuji. The clouds didn't really clear up for us, but uh, it still looked really beautiful with the tea fields. And yeah, so I highly recommend this area to uh, see a nice view of Mount Fuji if you come to Japan. Um, come to Shizuoka Prefecture, great prefecture. And uh, once again, it's Odigo 47. We're traveling all 47 prefectures, so stay up to date because we're vlogging every single day. If you don't know what Odigo is, it's a travel website that offers local and exclusive information all about Japan. So if you're coming to Japan or you like Japan, check out the website. It's in the about section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next trip. Uh, Kim Dao will be joining us uh, with Rachel in June, so we're going to have three awesome YouTubers and um, we are first going to Wakayama Prefecture, so stay tuned, stay up to date, and I'll see you guys in the next trip. Bye!